Hey everybody, I'm here to introduce templates for lists. Lists are another major type of data definition with a specific template. They are defined using empty and cons. So, if we were to define a list of numbers, we would define it as one of empty or cons number list of numbers. Templates for lists, as with enumerations and structures, are based on the data. You can think of lists as a special instance of an enumeration where we have to deal with each of the cases, either empty or cons, with a cond. Thus, your first thought for a list template may be something like this. Here, LON stands for list of numbers. But wait, we can be even more complete. Whenever a list is a cons or is not empty, we can access the first item in the list and the rest of the items in the list using the first and rest accessor functions. We are missing one last element. As mentioned in the structure template video, whenever we have a more complex data structure within our structure, it must have a separate template to process that access data. The first of a list of numbers simply accesses a number. Thus, we do not need a separate template. However, the rest of a list of numbers accesses another list of numbers. Thus, we have to call the process list template on it. This is a complete template for processing a list of numbers. The call to process LON within the body of the function process LON is called the recursive call. Now, using this template, Writing a function that sums all the numbers in a list of numbers should be easy. Copy and paste the template and change the name in both places within the template. Now we have to complete the dots in the empty case. If the list of numbers is empty, we return 0, as shown by the example test. Now we fill in the dots in the cons case. The first accessor returns a number. The rest accessor, when passed to the function sum numbers, should also return a number. Thus, we can use plus to add these two numbers together. And that's it. As you can see, our tests pass. I hope this video about list templates helped, and until next time.